file. If you are wondering what it is, yes, you are right. It's actually a calculator created using logo. Let me just show you guys the codes before I start. Let me show you the codes right there. Or oh, here are the codes. That's the name for my command. Up here, as the framework, window framework that you guys saw. And here is my label used as the output. Underneath here is a list box that just simulates the text box that you saw earlier on. And from here down here, those are all the buttons. You got the very first button right here, the command button create i calculator i calculator that's the name of my window that means create this very button inside i calculator and the name of this button is call one or c a l one the text on it is one and here are the coordinate 10 by 25 and 25 by 25 is the size of the button here is another function that I called and right here is the function function number one this function actually says if I call call one then the output in call display should be one but let's go back to the buttons first so the same lines of code were repeated for button 2, 2, button 9, 0 and C and the same thing applies to plus, minus, multiplication, division and the equal sign and right here I end the declaration of the buttons right here ended there so have a good look at the button that's from here down here that's how I created the button now let's go back to the other functions right here I use an if statement here that's to output 0 so when you click on button 0 this will show on the label the same thing applies to button 1 you can see it's all similar lines of codes for button 2, 3 and so on so have a look at them have a look at the codes and up to C in the case of button C you will notice there's nothing here look at 9 there's something here button C there is nothing there I take that off I just use that as an example in as much as I leave that very area clear that means anytime I click on the button C whatever is inside the label will be deleted so that's all for this very line of codes actually I have not finished it this is just a framework so let me take you guys to the to the stage so that you see how the button works itself so I go to file I suppose you've seen the codes have a good look at the codes one more time before I move on okay now let's save it and go back to the stage I'm just going to reset gone that is the command name there execute that's my button right there Click on one, clear, two, clear, and so on, guys. So this is how this system works for now. So I will continue with the other part of this very program. So I'll see you guys later.